Hi there, my name's Peter Hart, starboard team rider and now professional coach. And I'm going to tell you how I personally like to set up the Ultra Codes. Just a little bit about the design to start with. And I've been happy enough to follow a lot of the waveboard design trends. And I actually get the stubby thing that for UK conditions, how good it is to be able to slash around on the back foot. But I prefer the good say old-fashioned but classic front foot style of surfing which I think is the way actually most of the good riders like to ride and that means having a nice outline so that you're not just turning off the tail all the time but you're really using that whole rail and this is a beautiful classic surfboard plan shape so looking at the setup first of all foot straps which is so key to uh, changing your style for wave riding. And I mentioned it before with regard to uh, maneuver-based sailing with the code, but so important to be able to get your front foot all the way through so your toes are across the center line so you can use the toes to initiate turns and get your weight forward and have that strap big enough so your ankle can bend and your hips and shoulders can get forward and don't get blocked by the strap. Um, you might notice on this board that this port side strap is actually bigger than the starboard. That's because I've been sailing starboard conditions. This is my wave riding side where I really need to get that foot forward. This is the jumping side where I just like the strap slightly tighter to hold myself in flight. When I say tight, I don't actually mean banged across the top of the foot, more tight around the side here. And so if you do have a little fall, the, the foot can rotate in the strap and it does lessen the chance of an injury. As regards to forward or back, now you can change the width of the strap by messing around with those positions. So if you have the middle strap and the front one there, you, the strap will be a little tighter. Um, but personally, I try and get the strap for my weight and size to the front so that when I do lean forward, I bury that whole rail right up to here. If you're a little bit lighter and uh, maybe shorter in stature, using the back straps, um, the, the back holes, shortens the rail and makes the board a little bit looser. Um, as regards to the back strap, to start with on these wave boards, if you haven't used one before, they do feel a long way apart. You might feel them strangely spread. So not a bad idea to move the back strap to its foremost position just to get you used to it. But actually, the more you start to move in your stance, the more you appreciate a really wide stance, especially doing big jumps and wave rides. So I'll just turn it over. So looking at the fin setup, the Ultra Code in the UK comes as a five box option, um, which means you can mess around to your heart's content, but the best option, the one that Star would recommend and offer fins for is the thruster setup. I think thrusters offer the best compromise between sort of the looseness of a twin fin, but the stability and directional uh, ability of a single fin. So it works really well. Uh, my pre uh, preference at the moment is to have the center fin slightly more towards the front and the thrusters almost as far forward as they can go but I'm always messing around with it and a little centimeter does make a lot of difference but don't worry too much about it if you just start with them in the middle it works fine and just one more thing mass foot position if you're worried about it don't just shove it in the middle and it works but it can be a tuning device when we had those storms the other day the wave face was so choppy that wind was getting under the nose and just blowing it up in your face. And by putting it a couple of centimetres further forward, the weight of the rig just held the nose down and kept this part of the, the rail engaged. And then by contrast, if you want to loosen the board up on those sloppy wave days where you need to keep the turns tight and keep them pivoty, by pulling the mast up back, you shorten the rail and you get that really nice slashy feeling. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed it. Any comments, please put them below. We're happy to answer any questions. And just to finish, there hasn't been a set of conditions or a place where this ultra code hasn't worked. From Ireland to home to Brazil, Maui, Mauritius. It just works.